Do you ever get the impression that plants don't love you back? I do from time to time. I'm Laura, welcome to Garden Sanity. And I think that Cat's Pajamas Cat Mint, which is a gorgeous plant, doesn't love me back. I tried to grow it, and I say tried because it started out great. In fact, here's what it looked like last spring. In May, it began blooming. It was stunning. I mean, look how beautiful. It was like a bluish purple. The bees loved it. It was covered in pollinators all the time. It was just beautiful. But then reality set in. Here they are in June. Now they're fading and it was right around this time I was doing a video about planting perennials and different things about perennials. And it, it was right around this time I decided I'm gonna cut these back because what you're supposed to do with Cat's Pajamas Cat Mint is you can cut them back and they will regrow and they will bloom again. <laughs> and so as I was cutting these back, I noticed that they didn't look so great. In fact, I even remarked in it in that video. And I said, oh, that, I don't know. Is there something wrong with these? I wasn't sure. Yeah, they're not looking that great, are they? Hopefully they bounce back. They were much more greener. I think I'm gonna give them a shot of some fertilizer. So I just decided to let them be. I took some pictures of them so I could see what, you know, the damage looked like and look at it up close. Here's some pictures of that. And you can see they don't look so great. So I wasn't sure what it was that was bothering them, but I decided, you know what, I'll spray them just to be on the safe side. So I sprayed them and nothing happened. They just stayed looking bad. So at first I thought, well, maybe they're the ones right by the street and a lot of the water kind of comes down when it rains or we use the sprinklers and it kind of comes down and maybe that part's more moist than other parts. So I thought, well, maybe that's what it is. But no, it wasn't because all of my cat mint did the same thing. So here's some pictures of what the cat mint looked like again in the spring, beautiful, in the bed where I have the newer hydrangeas planted. And you can see it's just pretty, right? It's so vibrant. It looked beautiful right in the front. Talk about curb appeal. And now here's what they look like today. It's just, they, they're dead plants basically. Gave them water checked on them all summer. They never really got new growth. They never really, they never sprouted new flowers again. And no matter what I did, whether cat mint were planted in more drier beds, more moist beds, um, cat mint planted in the backyard in the really, really, really good soil beds, none of them did great. They either bloomed, but were really, oh, I don't know, just kind of, eh, not really great and bushy. Eh is my best gardening term or they once they did their initial bushy flush they just were blah another gardening term so after fretting about it all summer I decided all right they have to come out I mean I'm I suppose I could wait until next year and probably maybe get a good bloom in the springtime again but it's not worth it they look awful and they're not providing any curb appeal they're providing me with some angst and anxiety which is the opposite of garden sanity so i decided they're coming out today so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to take them out fill in the areas with dirt cover them back over with some mulch call it a season and rethink my plan for next year the positive thing is that i get to plan what plant to try again in that same spot, in those same spots, because again, this is all over. And I'm gonna show you pictures right now and I'll label them which beds these are in so you can see that they look the way they look no matter what. So here you go.
So there you go, that's it. Part of the fall cleanup was actually removing plants that don't love me back. And that was unfortunately the cat's pajamas cat mint. It's a great plant. I don't know why it won't grow for me. I have no idea. I don't recommend that you don't grow it because of this video. I still recommend you use it. It's a great plant. It's easy to grow. For some reason, it's one of those plants that's just not for me. Heartbreaking, but reality. And I'm all about garden sanity, so out they went. I hope this video helped you out, and until next time, happy gardening.